Um, how's it going, Scott? Happy afternoon. It is going well. We're doing a lot better than you weather-wise, for sure. We we don't have <laughs> on the ground. We have a little bit of rain, but it's in the 60s. We can deal with that. But you're dealing with some crazy snow out there. Yeah, we definitely got a flake or two, and uh, I appreciated my uh, elbow grease and a shovel <laughs> yesterday, for sure. Um, definitely more than, well, I guess they predicted this amount, but I'm always skeptical being a native on how much it'll actually snow. So um, for everyone joining us, hello, welcome for uh, To Lunch with Sefka. I'm Kayleen McCabe, host and contractor, joined as always with my awesome co-host, Scott Sheilar, who is the founder and uh, well, CEO of Sefka. So Scott, beyond the awesome, awesome weather, how was your week last week? It was amazing. The weather's starting to warm up here in, in Atlanta. It's definitely becoming springtime and just uh, just enjoying this time of year and just busy with Sefka. I mean, we have a lot going on here at our organization. We are, um, you know, we're putting a lot of people to work. We're getting kids excited about the construction industry. We have our little builders program with you. We're expanding the construction ready program, which is our adult program. You know, we started that here in Atlanta and we're expanding that across the state. In fact, that's what we're going to that's what we're going to focus on today. And I look forward to talking with you more about that. It's it's awesome. It's great to see you guys busy. You know, I am busy also supporting Sefka. But, you know, before we really dive into the meat and potatoes of today's interview, you know, we normally spend a few minutes geeking out about something <laughs> ridiculous. And I was joking before we started. Hey, to all of our viewers, sometimes we chat before we start. Um that I was going to talk about pickle juice because my arms are so tired uh, from shoveling yesterday. But I have to, I have another tool that I have to geek out about, Scott. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with metal puzzles. Um, they're sheets of metal and they come flat and then you cut out the pieces and like right now I'm making a, a locomotive. But I have very bad vision and my eyes get tired putting these together. And, you know, with with my exercise happening yesterday, today I'm gonna to have a nice calm activity. So I found these on the internet and these are <laughs> like uh, glasses that have super uh, microscopic or um, it can zoom in on anything. And then also I have a light. And so I just had to share my level of, of geekness uh, has actually been satiated by being able to see and build stuff in tiny, tiny, tiny mass. <laughs> Those are really neat. And I've seen those metal puzzles before at the local hardware store. We have an Ace Hardware here uh, in Decatur. And um, I see those puzzles and I've always been curious. You know, they have Star Wars ones. I'm sure you've seen those. They have the like the Death Star and R2-D2. And so I've been tempted. I might have to check it out. Uh, yes, I do have Baby Yoda and Darth Vader assembled uh, and the, a lot of the ship. They're really good. So yeah, I'll give you some tips and tricks because I found that, you know, construction for me is a lifestyle. It's not just a career that I'm doing. It's something that I'm really addicted to. I have to create and work with my hands all the time. And with the metal puzzles, it's satiating that need for me when I can't be on a job site. And what I'm so excited about today is the fact that Sefka is really taking that love of creating and building and inspiring it not only in the younger generations with the little builders program, which oh, melts my heart and makes me want to tap dance, but also with the construction ready program. And I'm really excited that today we get to do a deep dive on that because this program, I mean, we can spark the interest and excitement now at any age. So I'm excited about today's conversation. Me too, Kayleen. It's a it's an awesome program, and we're definitely doing a deep dive with the mayor from Savannah today, and look forward to sharing a little bit of the history of the program with you, and and how it's going to benefit residents here in Georgia across the state, and eventually we're going to take this program nationwide as well. So if you're not in Georgia, stay tuned. We're coming your way too. Good, good, hooray! Hi, uh, Colorado would like to hang out. Um, well, let's go ahead and dive into it because. Um, normally, you know, uh, we, we hang out for a bit and then bring our guest on, but Scott, you kind of are my guest today as well. And so let's go ahead and start off on what is construction ready? You know, SEFCA is a, is a broad group, but specifically, can you explain construction ready? 
Yeah, the best way to think about construction ready is it is our adult programming, right? We work with youth of all ages from elementary up through high school, but we realize there are a lot of adults who have already graduated from high school and they want to work in construction. Um, and so we created this program called Construction Ready to take an adult who is unemployed or maybe they're underemployed or maybe they're Maybe they're a librarian and they're tired of working with books and they want to they want to build something outside and they can they can come to our program. And the other interesting thing I'll mention about this program is, is it started with Arthur Blank and the Atlanta Falcons here in Atlanta when Arthur Blank was building the new Mercedes Benz Stadium for the Atlanta Falcons and the Atlanta United. Um, he wanted to put local residents to work on that project. He wanted to put local people and you know the industry well, Kayleen, you can't just let anyone walk onto a you know, $2 billion commercial construction site. They've gotta be, they've gotta be prepared, they've gotta be safe. There's just a lot of things they need to know before they can step foot. So, so we created this construction ready program specifically to put local residents to work on Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But it was so successful that it's, here it is, you know, seven years after we started it, really thriving uh, across the state of Georgia. And so in the short version is it's a four week boot camp style training program, again, designed specifically for residents of Georgia. The goal of Construction Ready is to not only train people, but to connect them with top construction companies. Wow. The cool thing too here in Georgia is the training is free to eligible applicants. So it's no cost. They go through the four days of training and then we connect them with an employer. Um, it is designed for people who want a career and not just a job. So we work hard to place our graduates with construction companies who are going to continue to develop people uh, in their careers. So it's, a, it's an awesome program. We're expanding across the state. Our next stop actually is Savannah, um, where we've already expanded to Augusta. Savannah is next up, and, and we're going to be talking with the mayor of Savannah a little bit later on today. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm very excited too because I, I mean, hang on, can you please repeat the cost again for someone who wants to participate in this four week program? And we know we say boot camp, you know, you're not going to be every morning coming out of the thing and doing push ups. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so yes, yeah, so it is zero dollars and zero cents, as one of our. One of our students famously said, um, yeah, no cost to our to our students to go through the program. And no, it's not a it's not a military boot camp in that sense, but we call it boot camp because it is it's pretty tough and pretty fast paced. Um, you know, it starts at 730 in the morning and goes until five. So it's a full day, Monday through Friday. And we do have high expectations. You have to be on time. You have to, you know, follow the rules that we have in place for the program. And, and you can actually fire yourself from the program if, if you don't, you know, meet our expectations. But the idea is to get you ready for that construction employer, because guess what? If you get on with a construction employer and you don't show up on time and you don't stay drug free and you don't, you know, you talk back to your supervisor, you're going to fire yourself from that job. And so we wanted to recreate that environment within our construction ready program. So that's what we've done. It's so smart because you're preparing folks for the real world. And, you know, I love the phrase you could fire yourself from this job. Yes, you can, because we have high expectations for a reason. You know, the starting pay is quite high in this industry and the growth potential is exponential. What, what typically are your other are workers starting at in the area? Like what hourly wage? Yeah, and so keep in mind, this is an entry level program. So most of our students who graduate, they, they start in an entry level job and we're seeing about $14 an hour is what we're seeing for that entry level job. But the cool thing, as I said, we've been doing the program for seven years. So we've, we've seen a lot of our graduates grow in their companies into foreman positions, supervisor positions. Um, even, you know, we've had several of our graduates come back to hire you know, graduates in our program. So they're in hiring positions within their new companies. So you know our industry as well as I do, Kayleen. You can climb as high as you want to in our industry. And so the key is to get your foot in the door with a good company, you know, impress the heck out of that company. And it's just going to be a matter of time before you rise up, you know, within that company uh, into to higher level positions, making more money. I mean, we've we've had stories of our graduates making seventy five thousand to one hundred thousand dollars a year. To be clear, that's not right out of the program. It takes you know three or four years to get to that point. 
but it's not uncommon for our graduates to make, you know, over $75,000 a year after four or five years in the industry. And so it's a, it is a really cool program, Kayleen. We, we obviously love it. I, I love it too, because what you're doing is demystifying the magic trick. The, in the four weeks, you're really kind of learning the basics, the nuts and bolts, preparing someone for an entry level job. You know, this is a uh, minimum wage plus with the growth potential that happens quite fast. You know, you aren't sitting at this hourly wage for years. Uh, you know, we're so needy in the industry. We want to see foremen and people of higher positions. <clears throat> you know, um, so let's talk about how many people are still employed in the same group um, a year later? You know, we see a lot of turnover sometimes, but what are your statistics? Yeah, so we keep up with our graduates for at least one year after they graduate. We follow up every 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. We want to we wanna stay in touch with them and make sure that everything is okay and help them if they need help, right? Um, but And we follow up with both the graduate and the employer because we want to hear both sides of the story. You know, sometimes we'll follow up with the graduate and they'll be like, oh yeah, everything's going great. Then we follow up with the employer and the employer will be, well, not so much. And, and then that allows us to jump in and you know, figure out what the problem is. But our retention rate at one year is 70%, Kayleen, which is really good when you look at the industry retention rate and you look at similar training programs across the country. The average is about 50% across the country. We're tracking at seven out of 10 of our graduates are staying in our industry full time for a full year. And so that's, it's pretty amazing. That is so amazing. And the fact that you are expanding and bringing this into Georgia is Phenomenal. You know, um, I'm looking at some of the reasons why you've been able to do this is Governor Kemp's uh, gear funding, which is part of the CARES Act is great. But I'm excited to talk to our guest today, who is actually the mayor of Savannah, Georgia, where this program is launching and actually uh, open a availability right now. Um, besides Savannah, are you able to tell me some of the other places that this will eventually be expanding to? Yeah, so we started here in Atlanta, as I mentioned, um, and we have three different sites here, uh, but we will be statewide. Um, you know, we were going statewide this year and we're going into Gwinnett, which is a, a North Atlanta um, suburb. Uh, as I mentioned, we're going to Augusta, Savannah, uh, and then Columbus and Macon. So these are all of the major cities, pretty much all the major cities in the state of Georgia that we will be in within the next you know, 12 months will be in all of these cities. So it is, it's exciting. It's, it's, we've, we've known it's a great program. Um, it's been great for Metro Atlanta residents, but now thanks to Governor Kemp and, and the CARES Act uh, grant that we received, we're going to be able to take it across the state. And we're super excited about that, Kayleen. I love it. Okay. So let's pretend, hi, I'm Kayleen. I just moved to Georgia. I need a job. What do I need to be eligible to be a participant in this program? Yeah, it's a great question. So, you know, we don't let just anyone waltz into the program. There are eligibility criteria. Uh, we do ask for a resume when you come in, but we'll help you create that if for some reason you don't have one. You do have to pass a drug screen. As you know, Kayleen, um, most jobs in our industry, you're going to have to pass a drug screen before you can set foot on the job site just because of safety issues. And so we make that a requirement in our program as well. You have to pass a drug screen. We do a background check, but I'll mention that we are very background friendly. There are very few uh, backgrounds that would eliminate someone from our program. So that's that's just mainly to give us an idea of, of what, you know, who we're dealing with in terms of backgrounds. Uh, you have to be at least 18 years old to be in the construction ready program. Um, you have to be physically fit and able to lift at least 50 pounds. And you know, uh, you know the reason for that, Kayleen. And then also we do something called a TABE assessment, uh, which is test of adult basic education. We're looking for you to, that, that you're able to read it at least read and do math at at least a sixth grade level, because this, this class moves at a really fast pace. And so we want to make sure that you're able to keep up with the pace of the class. And then you also have to commit to attend all 20 days. It, you know, we cram so much into these 20 days of training, you really can't miss a single day and successfully complete the program. And then you do have to have reliable transportation to get, you know, to and from class and then to and from your project. So that's just a quick overview of the requirements, pretty basic, but, but they are important uh, to get into our program. I love all these requirements because they're so important. This is how the real world works. And so not, uh, you know, 
how anything go is very important. And so I'm so excited to talk to Mayor Van Johnson with Savannah, Georgia, and um, really discuss why bring this amazing program. Because Scott, I can't wait until this launches like all absolutely all over the place. And so um, I'm so sorry. I'm on my phone, so <laughs> they don't have on a mask. We have a mask ordinance. Yep. Somebody, you need to, and, and we'll see how we come out of this thing, you know, with, with COVID, with all these people. All I know that I asked them. Uh, crossover audio? Yeah. Well, I see Mayor Johnson's screen, but I don't see his face just yet. No problem. Mayor, all right. Are you there? All right. Hey, how are you? Oh, good, good. Uh, well, how are you today? I'm good. I mean, you, I, I thought they said 12. Am I, am I late? You're fine. No, more. we uh, were having such a great chat. We're running a little bit behind Mayor. So thank you so much for your patience. All right. So we're, okay. No problem at all. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Yes. Um, I am joined uh, again with Scott Schuyler, uh founder of SEFCA. And I'm so excited that you're bringing construction ready to Savannah. Can you tell me, why did you make that decision? Well, I mean, Savannah is construction ready. I mean, even during um, this very strange time of, of COVID-19, um, Savannah has continued to build um, in spite of all of that. Um, and, you know, as you go around our community, you see um, a variety of construction projects that are underway, um, now hiring signs. Um, and so this was an opportunity for us to engage um, with a program that's been proven, um, a, a program that has performed well, and this creates opportunities for us to identify individuals who want more than just work, but are really a career opportunity. And so this um, falls right into what we're trying to do as we continue to not only uh, improve job readiness, but also lift people out of poverty. Hey, oh, hey. big time. One of the things you may not know about Savannah, and, and maybe the mayor can expand on this a little bit, they, they're expanding a huge port. In fact, I think it's going to be the largest port on the eastern seaboard, if I'm not mistaken. And my understanding, mayor, is that's driving a lot of construction in the region. And, and, and you're right, I've been down to Savannah several times. It's a beautiful city. And I, I saw the development down on the riverfront that is just gorgeous. And so can you speak to a little bit about how the port is driving all of the construction activity in Savannah? Right, well, we, we do have a port that is not only um, significant in the state, but is significant in the region and the East Coast. Um, it has gotten busier and busier and busier. Um, as a result, um, logistics become extremely necessary and construction to support our expanded point, port becomes very, very necessary. Um, so we need skilled workers to be able to help to be able to do that. Um, and as a mayor of a city, uh, it certainly pains me when we have opportunities and not have people that are prepared to take advantage of those opportunities. So uh, the Construction Ready Program uh, helps us to skill up individuals, to have them be ready for the opportunities. The opportunities are here. We just need people to take advantage of those opportunities. That's it. As soon as I can handle the humidity, I'm moving from Colorado to Georgia. The opportunities are off the charts. Um, Mayor, can you speak to any particular career paths or skilled worker focus that uh, you're in need of specifically? Um, uh, again, a variety of them. We, we talk about logistics. We're building here are the largest municipal project ever in our history. And Savannah is the oldest city in Georgia. We um, have just celebrated our 288th birthday. Um, and we're building an arena um, that is um, state of the art. And the fact is, again, we want Savannians to build this arena. Um, and again, this is a, a need for skill sets, uh, and, uh, some acumen, some soft skills. And I think that Construction Ready uh, provides that. Um, because once the project is over, the skills don't leave you. The skills are now portable, the skills are now transferable, and you can move them to something else. And so um, we hope that you definitely will move here. I mean, uh, it was 82 <laughs> degrees this past weekend. Um, I think I'm going to go sit out on the beach today uh, you know, with, with a mojito or a martini. Um, and if you're in Colorado, sorry. 
<laughs> you know, all right, well, Mayor. <laughs> I mean, you have on a flannel, you have a flannel uh, shirt on. I have on shorts underneath this suit. I'm just saying. <laughs> Welcome to Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds amazing. And truly what I am, I'm jealous and envious of, of the residents there getting the ability to take advantage of this program uh, because they are skills that you can take anywhere forever. And it sounds like, so a port, an arena, any other big projects in Savannah? Well, again, we have a huge um, thriving tourist industry. And so um, we, although this is the day before St. Patrick's Day, um, we welcome up to upwards of a half a million people here just for St. Patrick's Day and the festivals around it. Um, because of COVID, we're probably gonna be less than about 50,000, but you know, usually people come here. We have hotels everywhere. Um, we have a whole hospitality industry that is designed to make people feel at home. And we have over 15 million um, visitors that visit our city every single year. We just expanded Southwest um, Airlines from five cities here into Savannah. Um, well, the fact is, is that that tourism industry needs infrastructure. There are mm -hmm. hotels to be built. There are facilities to be built. Um, there are airport facilities to be built. And so again, um, as Savannah grows, we need people to build Savannah. And what I like again about this Construction Ready program is that it helps Savannians to build Savannah. Um, we have a policy that we call Savannah First. Um, you know, it doesn't mean Savannah only, but we want Savannians working on the projects um, that are important to us. And we know that um, you know, uh, opportunities might come and go, but we know skills never go away. And so if we're able to skill up individuals, if we're able to, to teach them um, very, very valuable skills that they can move from job to job, we know their ability to feed their families, their ability to buy a home, their ability to do the things that they want to do, live their best life um, comes from this opportunity. And so um, we know that from a construction ready program, over 90% of the individuals that have graduated uh, in Georgia have um, are still with the job after one year. Um, well, we think we can beat that. Um, we're very competitive here in Savannah. We think that we're better than any of the cities you're already in. With all due respect to my my friends of the mayors of those cities, um, but our our duty and our aim is to outperform and overperform um, all of those cities, and we're planning on doing that. Well, that is a great challenge, and I want, I like that kind of competition. You know, the first class is beginning in May, and I say the first because it sounds like Seth also has some big plans beyond one class. Can you tell us about the plan for additional classes? Well, I mean, we have a class uh, scheduled um, from May 17th to June 11th, um, and um, we have a bunch of other classes. Um, again, um, our goal is this is a relationship. This is not a one and done. Um, yeah. This is for an opportunity for us to really get this ingrained in the community. And we believe, particularly this inaugural class, I think it's something specifically important about being the first, being yes. the pilgrims, being the inaugural class. And I think that that is going to be so successful that these other classes will fill up quickly. Um, so we're asking for some daring souls to be um, of the inaugural class. And then there's nothing wrong with being second, third, fourth, and fifth. And so we have classes running all the way through December of 2022. Um, and we're just telling people, I mean, it may not be you. Uh, it may be somebody that you know. It may be that child in your house that's playing PlayStation all day and it needs that opportunity. It might be somebody who is really in a dead end job and determines they want to have a better career. I mean, this is such a potential game changer uh, all the way around for us and again, um, I'm excited for the partnership that the state has developed. And I'm excited that we're able to bring this to Savannah. I am also very excited. Congratulations on the partnership. And uh, I will be visiting in the near future to check out all of the awesome construction projects happening there. Um, and you're right. Well, if, you if, if, you get out, if you can get out of the snow, um, <laughs> if you can get out of the snow, um, then you can come and visit us. But as I understand, <laughs> Our friends in, in Colorado are, are knee deep in snow. So, um, you know, we'll think about you on the beach. Um, <laughs> shovel snow, I'll shovel snacks, hand. Um, but, you know, again, um, Savannah is the mother city of Georgia. Um, we're used to doing things in a big and historic way. And um, we're expecting 
this to be um, really the pace setter for the program uh, here in Georgia. It's and wonderful. We, we appreciate Scott and all of his assistance and, and our entire team here locally uh, for working to help make this a reality. Mayor, thank you so much for taking time to join us for lunch today and, uh, and also talking about the wonderful things happening in Savannah. It's much appreciated. Well, I appreciate it. And next time I'll appreciate it. If we, if, if they say we're going to have lunch then I'm, I'm expecting lunch and <laughs> I, I didn't see any lunch. So, so uh, I got cashews I'll share. Uh. <laughs> so you could tell that she's not from Savannah because in That's Savannah, right. when we say lunch, we eat until we get tired. And so um, part of the wonderful cuisine here. And again, restaurants <laughs> built, um, you know, you, I'll just wait till you come here and you know, you, you'll see for yourself. Um, and I think you'll be like Forrest Gump. You'll just never come. You'll never go back to Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> I, I truly believe it, Mayor. Uh, yeah, this has been a joy and a half, and I look forward to lunch in person. So thank you for taking the time again. Um, and next, we're actually bringing on a recent graduate from the construction. Thank you. Thanks, thank you, thank you Mayor. Thank you. Um, and do we have Al on right now? I do not see him yet, but I'm sure he will be in, be here any minute. I can talk until he comes in. Um, I just, I didn't get a chance to thank Mayor Johnson. Uh, looks like he's coming in now, but just so appreciative. You know, they, they've been so, they've welcomed us with open arms. Kayleen, we did a, we did a nice launch down in Savannah this weekend. We've already had over a hundred applicants already from the Savannah area for the Construction Ready program. So it is happening, but let's talk to Al. He has a lot better things to talk about than I do. Hi, Al. <laughs> Good morning, Scott. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for the invite again. Uh, yeah, uh, SEFCA program uh, is phenomenal. The from the beginning to the end, I like all the way all the programs that are structured into one to get three things out of the uh, the uh, uh, occupants. What we get is we got real time training, real life work, and actually stuff that prepares for the real world. So uh, everything from once you first are starting off with SEFCA, they prepare you with the tools. They put you around the, the right teachers um, like myself. I, I, I love Miss Davis. <laughs> you know, I loved a lot. I love, of course, uh, Dr. James, who did the financial management and financial literacy. These are things that, you know, the, all of the students need. Um, and with that as well, the resume building, um, the way it, I felt, I felt it was really phenomenal the way that the study structure took us from one thing and then just wish us over to another thing. It kind of filled in and let, it led on to the next, led on to the next. So it was a complete, uh, complete study guide. And it was great. Uh, like I said before, I doubted that it was going to, you know, I, I questioned it, uh, you know, me being my age, I didn't have a lot of time. I'm like, I'm almost 50 years old. But it, 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 it hit right dead on and it got me in position, you know, things that attribute to my success. I have no problem ever telling somebody how great SEFCA is as a program and um, how fulfilling it will be once you graduate. Like I said, the program sets you up with your own resume. They also do something very unique. Um, I don't know if I can speak about it, but the two minute video. What's yeah. the two minute <laughs> video? Oh yes, the interview, the Facebook, yeah, yeah, yep. Nails it. It is perfect. And then going to the hiring fair and having the actual employers come and, you know, you interview with them and it kind of gives you a feeling of a little more, more sense of pride in uh, what's going on. And like I said, I come from a construction background, my family and everything. And um, again, I, I, I can't be more happy and proud to be uh, a SEFCA graduate and um, going back. I'm going back for construction plus so I get more. Uh, right now, I work for a company named SDNC. I'm a civil engineer. I'm a supervisor. I have a large crew. I just opened my new, uh, teed off my new property. We're working on Deering Road right now, and that's right off Hollow Mill Road. Uh, we also have another project I just got almost finished with. Uh, it's on Martin Luther King. We got Fulton Industrial all the way down the north side, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I thank SDNC for uh, hiring me, and I thank Suffer for giving me the push and the education. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing. You are so fantastic. Oh my gosh. Serious. This thank you. I'm excited for you. And it's you can feel your energy through the phone. And congratulations. So my gosh, um, did you think when you started the program that you would be handling a crew the size you are now? Like I said, I I, you know, I came in with background experience and I actually doubted it. I doubted that in that length of time 
you know, that yeah. it would be, the program would be that dynamic. But by the second week, I was locked in. I was locked all the way in. I was hands down, all in, you know, because, yeah. Oh, no, sorry to interrupt, but so, okay, so pretend I'm a skeptic and I'm you again, right before the class started and like, oh, okay. What are you saying to me to, to get me to believe earlier or even to get someone to sign up? What are the magic words? Well, the magic words are, uh, for me, it was to um, get credentialized and knowing the difference between getting a certificate and getting actual credentials. And, um, you know, that's something that stands out in the workforce. Like when you go on a construction site, you know, a lot of people might have had 10 years of skill in a trade. They might be under a journeyman or a master, but they don't have the credentials. They haven't gone to class and got credentialized. So this is a program that credentializes you where you can walk on. Like right now, I'm the competent person. Okay. I, I, I have a certification, certification and uh, credentials in fall protection. Um, forklift training, all of those things help you, um, you know, and even beyond that, OSHA qualified, certified, you know, NCCER qualified, and I also got, you know, if you fall out on the ground, if you fall out, I give you some, <laughs> I can give you some great CPA. <laughs> so it's a great program. You're certified all the way around, and it, it's a start. It's, it's definitely a start. I, I still have a lot to learn. The one thing I would say that if you really want this to happen to someone, I'm going to tell them, if you really want this to happen for yourself, you want to be in this construction industry, okay? Not a construction job. You want to be a construction worker. You want to be a construction professional in the construction industry. You take this serious, and trust me, the only time you'll look back is to say thank you. And that's all I've ever done because it's just a great program. Oh, I can't wait to have lunch with you in real life. Oh my gosh, Al, you're awesome. So awesome. You know, we Thank actually you. have another question for you, but um, I'm on yes. my phone and didn't read it. Scott, would you mind asking the question that came through? Yes. Um, so, and actually this is just a general question, but what are the next steps for Savannah Career Seekers? I believe we have a slide that we're going to put up um, to show Savannah Career Seekers what their next steps are. And maybe Al could look at it and kind of walk through it uh, with us. Is Al still... I don't see yeah, absolutely. It. Okay, perfect. I, my, my view just changed. Um, but yeah, next steps. Uh, Al, you know this well. You Did you sign up through constructionready.org? Is that how you found out about us? Exactly. Um, I started out with constructionready.org. And um, originally what happened was I went in to, I signed up for a test. We took some tests. And uh, because of COVID, the aptitude test, one of the programs I wanted to get into, they closed it down. And then I was like, I said, well, let me do my construction ready. So I went into there, started the new career. After I got there, the orientation was great. Mr. Hornbuckle is a, a, a pure definition of what a construction guy is. That's what a, that's what a PM, a superintendent, that's what they are. And um, he hit us with the, the orientation. Let us know this is a boot camp. Uh, you know, there'll, there'll be no playing tolerated. This is about work. This is to keep your work ethic going. And um, keep you goal orientated the whole time. So, of course, with that, you're introduced to the program that tell you what the structure is as far as what classes you'll be taking, how to prepare yourself for those classes, what things you should do to bring uh, to that class as far as like, you always got to bring your A game. That's one thing. But you always have to have pen and pad. You also have to be a great note taker. Um, and then with that, what they do also is you'll have a time where you'll go through different uh, classes. You'll get a schedule, uh, a calendar, It'll give you different classes to let you know what days are test days. So you'll be really prepared. It's not, it's no pop quiz. It's just, you go in, you, you, you study your guides, you go through your, your, your uh, manuals. And for each module, there's a test. You take your tests then you take your credential tests. I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy, but it's not hard. You just gotta be dedicated and you gotta want to want to change. It's all about you. This career path that you chose. This 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 program is is great. So once you once you've gotten through your classes, then they have what they call a hiring fair. Now the hiring fair, you'll be prepped before the hiring fair to where you can also get your like we talked about earlier the YouTube video. You can also get your resume corrected and checked for you. Make sure it's correct. It's going to be a targeted resume um, for actual uh, companies to look at. And what they'll do is they'll come in, but the hiring fair is, is like I said, it's so unique because other people go to what they call job fairs. 
Everyone knows mm-hmm. the job fair. You know, you take a bunch of resumes, you go sit at somebody's table, and you put your resume on the table, and they get a good look at you. You shake their hand confidently with your chest out, chin up like that, and then you wait for the call. But the hiring fair is the other way around. The actual students are on the other side of the table, and we're actually interviewing, we'll have the opportunity to interview the company. So I think that's a great part that um, it gives you, like I said, it gives you more ownership into what you're doing and what you what you're presenting. So when you're able to interview the actual uh, the actual company, the one thing you want to know is you want to know what's the culture of the company. You know what is the turnaround ratio? Is there an open door policy? These things that that actually will attribute to your life and your success. Are you guys training or hiring up from inside? Or you know, is there going to be more advancement for me? Those are the questions you want to know. You know, for me, I got a <clears throat> tip from Mr. Hornbuckle. I guess I kind of took a tip from Mr. Hornbuckle when I went in and and instead of asking about you know how much you're getting paid, you know. It was just seeing what opportunity I can get into because I know if I had the opportunity, I could show my worth. If I could show my worth, I can show my value. So, you know, like um, Dr. Jones also said, you know, we, we've known, myself included, people who've gone in and um, I don't have a problem disclosing. I took an offer for $13 as a supervisor, a training supervisor. But look at me now. <laughs> you know, so that, so it's not about it's not always about you know saying that you know oh this company's not paying this this company not paying that you get the opportunity once you get the opportunity you go out there and you show out you show your value you show your worth and then with that 104 people don't understand when Mr. Hornbuckle said that 104 shows I'm on a site right now supervising three subcontracting companies and in each well I got more than that I got about eight but Three of the subcontracting companies that I use, uh, one is cement, they do cement. Another one is our electrician, which is h and Lighting. Uh, and the other one is actually uh, South Fulton, South Fulton Nursery. There are, there are like four different guys that have Sefka hats on. And when they see my 104, they're like, oh, you went to Sefka? I said, yeah, I got my 104. I'm, I'm grabbing their hats. Like, where's your 104? <laughs> so, you know, it, and it's a great thing. You know, because again, Sefka is a program and I, I could put it against any program. And I don't think there's another program that's got like a 98% hiring rate, a 98% finishing or graduating rate. You, it doesn't get like that. I haven't seen it. And if there is one, <laughs> it doesn't yeah, exist. it's got to be Sefka. <laughs> it's got to be Sefka because those numbers are remarkable. And I see it. I'm living proof of it. I walk around it every day. I see it. I see other guys at other sites. There's a lot of Sefka hard hats in the city. And um, I would like for be able to go somewhere else to see some more. <laughs> oh, oh, that's amazing. Al, this, you, okay. For, you were a surprise treat on today's lunch. Truly, thank you so much for sharing your insight and passion, genuinely. I want to have you back just to geek out. So we'll do lunch again. I'm, I already know that. Like, you're so no, fun. No not a problem. I'm waiting for the new class to start up. I wanted to go in and uh, visit the guys. I got some gifts for them uh, from SDNC. We got some gifts for them. So I'm waiting for the next class to start up and I'm going to set those guys up right. I got actually, we just hired two uh, alumni from uh, Sefka working for me now. We've got Miss Carissa Johnson and Charisma Johnson. And we were looking for, we were looking for another brother, a gentleman named on uh or what's his name on or or as well i gotta get that from uh, miss miss uh miss alexis she'll give me the information but yeah this is where we're going Thank oh. you, Let, let's definitely have al back on because there's so much more here you know he, he shared a lot of things kayleen the 104 means a perfect score basically that yeah. means through the four weeks he kept all of his points and he added four bonus points. So that's what the 104 means. And they get a special sticker that indicates that. And there's so much, he mentioned names like Hornbuckle and Davis. Those are just a lot of teachers and, and leaders in our program that I wanna talk more about uh, at a later date. But Al, you you always do an amazing job. And Kayleen, I don't know if you picked up, he always goes back and speaks to our students, our current class of students to get them fired up and excited about the program. So. Very special uh, graduate, Al. We appreciate all that you do to promote the program. You're an amazing ambassador, and we really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate everything you've done for me, and God bless you guys. Yes, sir. Have a great one. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Al. You're very welcome. Bye-bye, guys. (laughs) Bye-bye. 
Well, right. Scott, oh my goodness. Talk about a marathon lunch. This has been amazing. Oh, I want to hug our guests today. They were so brilliant. You know, one thing that I don't think we repeated enough, we kind of did, but can you tell us the website on where folks can go to find out information, how to sign up for any of these amazing programs? It's super easy. ConstructionReady.org. ConstructionReady.org. Everything you need there, if you're a student that wants to sign up for the program, if you're an employer that wants to hire these graduates, you can find it right there on constructionready.org, and we'd love to work with you. It's amazing, too. And I, um, Okay, so backstory. I fell in love with SEFCA, and I think Al is probably similar. It's not just an organization. It's a family. These people really care, and there's a lot of passion behind seeing success with the graduates um, in employment, but just in life in general. So it goes so much beyond just getting, you know, um, a, a a career. It's it's more than that. It's a network that you're creating behind it. And so, oh, I'm happy that we're finishing off bringing up the website for folks to check out more information. Perfect. Um, all there. Yes. And of course, for all of our uh, fans still watching, if you have any other questions, always feel free to text uh, career path to 31996. And then next week, join us. I'm very excited. We're going to be talking to Chris Mayer with Contractors, Closers and Connections event. And I'm really excited to hear about that. So again, uh, constructionready.org. Please sign up. I mean, it, there's no cost to you with a pretty much guaranteed career on the other side of it, I hate to say it, but we're just that desperate. We're so excited to hire everyone. So um, Scott, thank you again for hanging out for lunch today. Yes, Kayleen, thank you and be safe there in the snow. I hope that it melts quickly. I do too, I'm done shoveling. So <laughs> I'm gonna oh, pretend I'm on the beach, enjoying some time uh, out in Savannah. <laughs> Sounds good, thank you, Kayleen, have a good week. Thanks you too, Scott.